it is still a very depressing situation for the women in india to go outside their homes but i think despite of restricting them we should give them something beneficiary like this thing it looks like a normal purse but whenever we lock this purse our location gets shared to our loved one and in case of emergency we just need to open and close this purse three times and then a call will get placed automatically let's build this hari krishna <laughs> Let us choose a purse first. I could have used these type of purses also, but the thing is that I don't have any experiences with sewing, so that's why I'm not going to destroy this one. Also, if you are going to use this type of purse, so that's also not applicable because it doesn't have any metallic part over here. You can choose this type of purse also, but make sure that you have any experience with sewing, or else you would destroy that. Apart purse. from all this, I have found this one the most applicable one because it has screws over here, not the stitches. So that's why it is more suitable for me. As electronics, I'm going to use this ESP HC05 module, our battery, and to charge this battery, I'm going to use this TP4056 module. Also, I'm using few jumper wires. This purse is really old, so that's why I'm going to clean it first. Now, I'm removing the screws of my purse. In this purse, I have one plus point. Actually, it has borders made of metal, so that's why I'll be more convenient while connecting the wires over here. I have to just spread the wires inside the metallic part, and then I'll put back it and put the screws. And I'll program a ESP in such a way that if these two borders get in contact with each other, our ESP will directly send the signals to our phone. And this is my plan. We have to put two wires inside our purse. One will go into GND, and another one will go into D1 of our ESP. Now let's test the continuity of the wires using one multimeter. Perfect. But if the metallic part of your purse has something like an alloy or any type of layering, then you can remove the layering using one sandpaper. This will improve the conductivity of your purse. I have connected my battery to my charging module using one soldering iron, and this is how it works. Now I'm connecting one micro USB cable to it as this is going to be the power source of our ESP. Now I'm gently heating the tape to compress it. Now we can power our ESP like this and whenever we want to charge this battery we can use our type C charger also. Now I'm connecting my ESP to HC05 in this way. Now I'm going to program my ESP with the help of Arduino IDE and the code is also available in my description. Just copy and paste my code over here and select your board to node MCU 1.0. After this, click on upload and this will compile our sketch. After this, I took one jumper wire and cut that into two pieces. Now basically I'm going to connect one jumper wire on this end and one jumper wire on this end. After this, we'll connect one jumper wire to D1 and another one in ground port of our ESP. Now look at my level of experience. I hope my mother doesn't see this video. And thankfully it didn't harm my mat.
Now I'm going to connect this T1 and this ground port to our purses two ends. Now we have to set up our mobile phone for which we have to download two applications. First one is this serial Bluetooth terminal and after this download macro droid app. Guys I could have made my own app but that requires money that's why I'm going to use these two apps. Yeah. Now let's launch our serial terminal application but before that we have to connect our HC05 to the Bluetooth of our mobile phone. Usually the pin is 4x0 or 1234. After this our serial terminal will start working. Now ensure that you have followed all these steps. You can pause and treat them. Now we have to follow these steps. Now our purse is ready guys, ensure that you have followed all these steps correctly. Now it's time to test our purse guys. So here I've took two mobile phones. One is the phone from which I'm going to send SMS or call and another one is going to receive the call or SMS. So let's test it out. As you can see one SMS has been sent from this phone and this phone has received the location. I can't show the location guys as you all know. Now imagine a very general circumstance where the girl closes her purse very gently and then her location gets sent to her loved one. So how is it guys? Now imagine that the girl gets into a very big trouble then she can use this feature by opening and closing the purse 3 times and then a call will get placed through her number automatically without even unlocking her phone. You might be wondering that why can't we use the Mahila helpline number because of this reason. आपका स्वागत है सहायता के लिए चार दबाएं वेलकम टू 112 प्रेस फो as you can see before this IVR helpline even works my purse would have already sent the sms with location and the call so what do you think guys which one is worthy if you think that my purse is very much worthy then you can hit this like button and share this video with your friends comment down your opinions on this video and subscribe to my youtube channel i always like to invent new type of thing and i'll be right back here with more new type of innovative ideas so hare krishna radhe